Hello there. Welcome to day one of a somewhat DIY um, observatory build. I say somewhat because I am not building my own roll-off roof or a roll-off building, but I am using a Rubbermaid uh, mini shed that has a built-in roll-off roof for part of the uh, assembly. Um, for my case, because of where I am and height restrictions and everything else, I certainly didn't need anything that was super high. And I'm going to be doing all the um, camera control and everything else from inside the house, so I didn't need anything that was too large. Anyways, this is just going to be a way for me to document some of the stuff that I'm doing here. As you can see right now, the only thing I've done is I've dug my hole for my 12-inch um, wide cement pier. I have a hole that is 48 inches deep and here in New England whenever you dig uh, you're gonna find rocks and uh, you can see that some of these rocks are actually um, you know decent size or whatever but basically every shovel full had some sort of rocks and I've also put in four uh, floating um, piers that I can use um, instead of digging down uh, and putting in cement piers and trying to get below the frost line for all those, uh, the floating deck uh, should work in my case, especially because the deck and the building itself will not be connected to the uh, cement pier. You can also see right now that I have a small pine tree uh, right in my way, and so I've already started to dig a hole uh, to relocate that. In any case, I'll be using a 12-inch sauna tube. Um, the sauna tube, the top of it will be 26 inches above ground and then I will have the, um, the mounting bracket and then the AVX mount itself. And so as I continue to work on this, I will document a little bit more and I will tell you what's worked for me and what hasn't. So thank you very much for checking it out and we'll see you again soon.